Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here, and I'm gonna eat a little bit of crow. Earlier today, I posted a video where I, again, ranted about the annoyance of this Zune Weeble 2 and the transmitter AI and just not being able to use it and, and have it be consistently inconsistent. The biggest problem was the fact that I couldn't get it to actually work when I set the camera, the A7C that is, to 4K. I tried for a week on and off trying to get it to work and it absolutely would not and I couldn't figure out why. Then today I realized that the only thing that I had changed from when it did work to when it didn't was that I switched it to 4K. Once I switched it back from 4K to 1080, the screen popped on, the app connected, everything worked the way that it was supposed to. And I thought to myself, that's freaking idiocy. Why the hell wouldn't this thing work in 4K? Clearly people are gonna use their cameras, the A7C particularly, in 4K. You know, if you're shooting a wedding or you're doing some kind of client work, whatever, or you're just dicking around like me, it should work in 4K as well. That's why I did the video. And I said, hopefully somebody out there figures it out and lets me know. Okay, let's hear it from my boy, Yankee Cowboy, who did in fact figure it out. He suggested that I go to the settings on the A7C and I had to go into the HDMI settings and I had it set to 2160 slash 1080. When I switched it from that to auto on the HDMI setting, then boom, the screen came on and the app connected and everything worked the way that it was supposed to. So that means that you can in fact use the Weeble 2 with the transmitter AI and the Sony a7C both in 1080 and in 4K and everything works just fine now. And as you can see, it is following me, it is tracking me, and I'm just sitting here at my desk. But it's, it's working correctly, and that's what it's supposed to be doing. Now, the only thing that I'm gonna do is post this video like immediately right now and let everybody know that, once again, dumb monkey. And dumb monkey, but not dumb monkey, because I guarantee you, if I didn't know how to do this, somebody else didn't know how to do it. And again, I have no problem owning up to when I make a mistake or when I screw something up or if I don't know something. That's the whole point of me doing this channel is learning how to do this shit and, and not having to reinvent the wheel. So thank you, Yankee Cowboy, for providing me with the correct wheel and not making me having to reinvent it and making me realize that it was a simple setting on the camera that I had to change to get it to work in 4K. Now I'm shooting in 4K right now, obviously, because that was the whole test. And I will post this and, and then switch back to 1080 because I'm not shooting in 4K. <laughs> but at least I know how to do it now. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. I just wanted to give a mea culpa. I wanted to thank Yankee Cowboy for figuring it out and, and letting me know the error of my ways and to let you all know what you need to do. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about any of that shit, leave them down below. As always, Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.